Moin, ich bin Tan von Luxemburgisch with Anne. Wie geht es dir heute? So, how are you all of you today? Asking questions and giving answers are the basics of conversation in Luxemburgish and in any language. So today I want to help you to ask questions in Luxemburgish so that you can start enjoying Luxemburgish conversation. Prat, dann los! Let's start with the question structure. Now there are three parts that you should keep in mind. Part one are the question words. So for example, wat, wo, wen, wenn, um, they, for example, and as well question phrases such as they oft, so how often, or they lang, how long, or um, ah, they feel, how much, or how many, or seit they nie, since when. Part two. Um, this is the main verb, or it can as well be an auxiliary verb such as uh, sin or hun, or it can also be a modal verb such as um, können, sollen, müssen. Okay? Good. And now part three. This is uh, the subject, so it can be ösch or du or hat or it can be, uh, for example, my brother or tgach, okay? Examples, Beispiele. Wo wohnen den Eltern? Wo wohnen den Eltern? Where do your parents live? Or, wenn musst du fortgehen? Wenn musst du fortgehen? When do you have to leave? Now, what about this kind or this type of question? Wohnst du an der Stadt? Wohnst du an der Stadt? Do you live in Luxembourg City? Now, in this question, we don't have any question word, but we have the two other parts of our Luxembourgish question construction. We have the verb, wohnen, and we have the subject, du. Okay, so this kind of question is perfectly acceptable too. You don't need a question word to build an, uh, a question in Luxembourgish. And it's as simple as that every time. Now you may have noticed that there are two kinds of questions. You have the closed questions. These are the questions which start with the verb. And you have open questions. And these are questions which start with a question word. Now, questions that start with a verb or a helping verb are closed questions because they require only a simple answer such as ja or ne. So the, re the detail doesn't really matter. Examples, Beispiele. Hörst du Spinat gär? Ne. So do you like spinach? No. Or, um, for example, ah, kann ich euch helfen? Ja, gerne. So, can I help you? Yes, with pleasure. And that's it, okay? So, you don't give a lot of details. And now the questions which start with a question word are open questions because there you have to give more information. Now, uh, let's look at the five most common question words in Luxembourgish. Let's start with wo. Wo. So, wo means where. And wo or where should be translated uh, into two words in Luxembourgish. Into wo and wo. Unlike English, which uses where for both a location 
and a direction someone or something um, is, is or is going to, Luxembourgish makes that distinction. So you use wo when asking where someone or something is and you use wo to ask uh, the direction someone or something is going to. Examples. Beispiele. Wo ist mein Brill? Wo ist mein Brill? Where are my glasses? Or, wo geht ihr an die Vakanz? Wo geht ihr an die Vakanz? So you see here, I have to use wo because we are using the verb gehen and this conveys the, the idea of a direction. Okay? Great. Question word number two. Wien. Wien. Who? Example. Beispiel. Wienerstadt. Wienerstadt. Who's that? Or, wie geht mit mir an de Kino? Wie geht mit mir an de Kino? Who's coming with me to the cinema? Now, let me tell you that in real conversations, Luxembourgish native speaker seldom use Wien, but instead they say Wien. And as Wien is ending uh, in N, it is subject to the N rule, and then you will often hear W. Example, W geht mit mir an de Kino. Okay? Just be careful when you hear this W is the Wien, which means who. Okay? Question word number three, this is wei, wei, and this means how. For example, wei geht it? How are you? Wei geht it? Or, mm, ah, wei al bist du? Wei al bist du? How old are you? Or, wei oft geht ihr an de Kino? Wei oft geht ihr an de Kino? So, wei oft is a question phrase, so how often? We have as well, wei lang, how long, or wei viel, how much, or how many, okay? Question word number four is wat, wat. This means what, wat is dat, wat is dat, what's that? Or, wat will dir drinken? What will you drink? What do you want to drink? And the last question word for today is Veini. Veini. When? Examples. Beispiele. Veini gesi mir eis de next kea. Veini gesi mir eis de next kea. When do we see eis uh, each other the next time? Or Veni hörst du Feierrovend? When do you finish work? Veni hörst du Feierrovend? And in all these examples we have seen now, the question structure always remains the same. You have first the question word, then the verb, and the third part is the subject. And here is an easy rule. So closed questions are great for confirming uh, information about people. For example, wohnst du an der Stadt? And then once you receive the answer, then you can use open questions to learn more about them, their experiences, their opinion, their recommendations. Beispiele. Wo wohnst du dann do? Where do you live then there? Wo wohnst du dann do? Or, wie lang wohnst du schon do? Wie lang wohnst du schon do? Or, wie aus der Karte dann so? How, how is the area then? Wie aus der Karte dann so? Great! Now you are ready to start and enjoy um, conversations in Luxembourgish. And I have made two separate lessons of how to start a conversation and I have put the link in the show notes below. An erlogenden Hausaufgabe! Now your homework is to write two questions an open question and a closed question and try as well to answer these questions okay so write your your homework in the comments 
below. And don't forget that you can uh, read the full transcript of this lesson on my blog Luxembourgish with Anne. And there I have added as well, as well an, a worksheet so that you can practice what you have learned in today's lesson. So don't forget to visit my website where you can find as well online courses. Great. And if you like this lesson, maybe you can subscribe to my channel so that you receive um, every week your lesson uh, directly. Or you can as well put a like if you like this lesson. So, Eddie, and bis next week.